Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the difference um, when we're discussing equality, when we're talking about primitive objects versus reference objects. All right, so equality. So we're, we're used to the idea of dealing with equality when we have um, things like one is equal to one, so two primitive type objects. Okay, we do that, we know that these two are the same. If we do this, we know that one is not equal to two, you know, in terms of primitive integer type objects. Now what happens when we do it like this? We go uh, point one or P1 of type point is an object um, point with an initial X and Y coordinates of two and three. And we have another point P2, two and three. If we ask if P1 and P2 have the same location, what's gonna happen? Well, it refer, returns a false value. And that's because we're not actually looking at the internal contents, but we're looking at the address of those two objects. So remember that um, when we're talking about reference objects, it's a little bit more complicated than that one is equal to two or not equal to two uh, with sort of primitive integers. So if we go um, a primitive variable stores a primitive value like this, so we say double D1 is equal to or assign a value of 7.5 and D2 has a value of 7.5. We ask if they're equal, the answer will be yes. On the other hand, a reference variable stores the address to some object rather than the really being the the, the values in the object itself. It's the address, the location of that object. So when we say that we've got a point with, look, with, with values two and three in it, and we call that point P1, what we're doing is we're assigning to P1 the address of a new point object, the location of that object in memory. Same with P2. P2 is a separate object. It is not the same object as P1. It has the same values in it coincidentally, but it's not the same object. And so when we use this binary operator, this double equal, okay, and we're trying to do a comparison, when we do it on primitive variables, we're, we're comparing the contents of those variables. That's the content of one variable, D1. That's the contents of the other variable, D2. We compare those two contents together, no problem. Um, we'll see that they're true. So when we do D1 equal equal D2 like that, it evaluates to true. On the other hand, reference variables, the addresses they store are compared rather than comparing the contents of the objects they're referring to. So when we do P1, that's an object, not a variable, okay, like D1, P1 and P2, if we do equal equal, this will evaluate to false because the locations of those two objects in memory are different. It's basically like having your MP3 files on an SD card for your cell phone. Well, the first song that you're playing, okay, uh, maybe it's a Britney Spears song, and the second one that you're playing, a Kanon song, those two objects are separate. They are different songs. They are not the same song, and they are located at different places on your SD card. Okay, so when we ask, is the Kanon song equal to the Britney song? Well, clearly the answer is no, because they are, they are distinct pieces of information that are stored separately from each other on the SD card. All right, and that's it for discussion on equality, primitive values or primitive variables versus reference objects. Mm -hmm.